Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to make a video just explaining why I chose to do medicine through the University of Queensland's Rural Medicine Pathway through the University of Southern Queensland. Um, I did get into my top preference in every state which included um, University of Tasmania, U USQ, um, Monash and the University of Newcastle and I got a lot of questions um, from people I know, from people online, all of that about why didn't you go to Monash or why didn't you put UQ as your number one preference? Obviously, um, there's a pretty good chance that if I put UQ as number one for Queensland, I would have got into UQ. And a lot of people, they're just wondering why USQ over Monash? Monash is considered to be the best medical school in Australia. Um, five year degree rather than the seven years, it's in Melbourne. Why did I choose to stay in Toowoomba at UniSQ rather than go to Monash? And I was like, you know what, let's make a video about this and clear the air. So I do have a couple of things I want to say and I do have my laptop here um, just so I don't forget what I'm talking about because I do that a lot. But the first thing I wanted to talk about were a couple of points on the actual course itself that helped me decide why I wanted to go there. So the first one is that the course itself actually gives you two degrees. So the University of Southern Queensland pathway is the same as the UQ pathway. Basically what you do in the UQ pathway is you do an undergraduate degree at UQ and then your doctor of medicine at UQ. And the difference is um, with the UniSQ version, even though it is the same thing, you do an undergraduate degree at UniSQ, which has to be Bachelor of Biomedical Sciences, the medicine pathway and it's got like specific courses and like a certain major and all that and then you do your doctor of medicine at the uq rural clinical school here in toowoomba it's at the base hospital so that is the difference and what i really like is that the course gives you two degrees and this is sort of what separates me from monash and that sort of stuff um but the reason that i wanted the two degrees is um, it really gives you something to fall back on and that's why it's important to me. When I read the book Emotional Female by Dr. Yumiko Kododa, I didn't really realise how sometimes you just don't know how things are going to end up. She ended up, you know, like medicine basically destroyed her. She just went through all these horrible, horrible things. She was so stressed and she ended up having to quit medicine for a couple of years. She's back now, but the point is for a couple of years there or however long it was, she had nothing else because she'd only ever trained as a doctor through UNSW's program. Whereas if something, God forbid, touch wood, happened to me, that was like what happened to her, then I would have a degree to fall back on, the Bachelor of Biomedical Sciences. And even if that doesn't mean fully quitting medicine forever, it does mean that I would get like lab work and be able to get a job while I built myself back up. So even though I really, really want to stick with medicine as my career, the only problem is that you never know what is going to happen to you, your mental state, your physical health, you never ever know what your future holds. And because medicine is such a black and white career like that, I believe it's really, really important to do the two degrees to have something to fall back on. So I really, really, really um, liked the two degrees in that. The next reason is that um, the UniSQ and the UQ Rural Pathway really um, provide an opportunity for like rural medicine. I know a lot of universities say they do rural medicine or rural placements and like, for example, JCU does rural health, but a lot of that isn't actually as rural focused as you would think it would be. A lot of unis just like to use that to flex, you know, and be like, oh, we help rural communities. But a lot of the time it is just not as common. So for example, JCU does do rural health, but it has a much more heavier focus on First Nations and tropical health. So it's not exactly quite what I wanted. I'm really, really interested in like farming communities and like mining communities, that sort of rural health, just because I grew up on a farm and that's really, um, what means a lot to me and because the Darling Downs and Toowoomba is like a massive regional hub for Queensland and even northern New South Wales farmers like you need any medical help you need to set the UCAT for example you need to go to boarding school anything like that people come to Toowoomba so I'm going to get a lot of experience within rural health here in Toowoomba and even my undergraduate degree does placements in rural communities so that's what um another reason why I really wanted to do this course specifically um just because rural health and it's also in the community that I grew up in, the community that I am connected to. So that's another reason that was pretty important for me. 
Um, the other good thing about USQ is that it has a pretty affordable semester exchange program. And I mean, I'm not sure if I want to do a semester overseas yet. When I first applied for UniSQ, I really wanted to. And then I spent a month in Dubai with my family and not gonna lie, I, like not my family, like not my mom, my sister and all that. Um, it was with my aunt and uncle. And not gonna lie, I did get really homesick. I really miss my mum and my sister and my cat. And my cat got depressed um, without me. So I'm not sure if I want to do a semester abroad yet. Um, it would be in my second year, in the second semester, if I did. So yeah, if any of you guys are thinking UniSQ and thinking semester abroad, go ahead do it. It's a lot easier than the process at say UQ, for example. And if you get the 97 ATAR plus scholarship, they actually give you an extra $5,000 if you choose to go abroad. So at the time of applying, and that is something I did think about. Now I'm a bit more like, oh, I don't know yet, but that is a really um, major reason why I did go with UniSQ. And the last thing about the course itself that, um, I, that really drew me to the UniSQ course was, sorry, my cat down no Loki. i'm trying to do a video sorry my cat decided to um come investigate anyway the fourth thing about the actual unisq course that i was really interested in was um basically the first three years doing my biomedical science is going to give me an opportunity to relax um of course year 11 year 12 you can all of that is super stressful and when i was in year 10 i did a head start which was a university subject just like Normal university subjects, same as the uni students do, um, through UniSQ, and it was pathology studies. And that is actually part of my degree, and I won't have to do that subject again. I got a high distinction. I want to keep that high distinction without having to reset the subject. And the point I'm trying to make is if I did that in year 10, and I got a high distinction in year 10, I am confident that uni, the first three years at least, won't be too difficult for me. Yes, I'll have more uni and college subjects on top of that, but the fact that I could do that when I was, what, 14, 15, still get a high distinction and not be stressed at all, really, really showed me that these first three, three years at uni, um, at UniSQ doing biomedical science, is a really, really great opportunity for me to get involved in leadership things, youth parliaments, going overseas, all these different things that I've always wanted to do, but haven't been able to because I haven't had enough time. So doing my first degree at USQ is going to give me a couple of years to sort of live life a little bit while also studying because I didn't want to do a gap year, nothing like that, because I love learning. I love studying. I love school, but I do think that I also need to put myself out there a little bit more and have a bit more of a social life. So those are sort of the reasons of why I chose the course specific to the course. And now I thought I would talk a little bit more about the financial side of things. So USQ, um, the medicine pathway is in Toowoomba, which is my hometown. Um, it's where, look, I've lived in the Darling Downs my whole life, um, or the Lockyer Valley. And although I only moved into actual Toowoomba a couple years ago, this is still my home. I've gone to school here my entire life. So this is my hometown. And because of that, I have a house here. I have family here, all of that sort of stuff. And unfortunately, my family is just not a family who can afford to send me to college or who can afford to pay my rent at Melbourne or Sydney or anywhere like that. It's just not something that my family has. And I'm not like dogging on people who can afford to do that. That is amazing and you should take that opportunity. But unfortunately, I just just do not have that privilege to be able to afford to go away and the really amazing thing is that I'm so grateful that UniSQ this is only the second year of the UniSQ medicine pathway I will be part of the second cohort I am so grateful that it was complete in time for me I remember when they first told us about it when I was in year 11 they had projected that the first cohort would be 2025 because the, um, UQ had already done this partnership at CQU but CQU took a long time to get their stuff sorted but USQ was was really quick so when I found out that I would be able to stay here all this weight was lifted off my shoulders because my family can't afford to support me away like I need to pay rent to be living in my own home and then the other side of things is that if I decided to go and try to work or use scholarship money or all that 
seven or five years is a long, long time to rely on scholarship money and to be working. And when medicine gets hard, I don't want to have to be working 24 seven to support myself. Otherwise I will burn out and it will be horrible. So just personally, the financial side of things, it just was never gonna work out for me. And even if I did try really hard, it probably would not have been very pleasant. So I'm really, really grateful that I am able to stay at home for this. Um, the other thing is that some people have the attitude that hard work is, you know, all you need and scraping by um, to, for, to live in Brisbane for seven years will be so fulfilling because, yes, you'll be hard working, but you're in the big city, you're at this prestigious university, blah, 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 but that's not what I want. I don't want to kill myself trying to work to support myself for some lavish lifestyle where I can live that lifestyle comfortably here at home. I can put my money towards traveling or having nice things for myself or buying stuff for myself. I can use that money for that sort of stuff rather than putting it all into rent and food and all of that. So that is another reason. Um, yeah, I've already um, touched on being living comfortably, all that, all that blah, blah, blah. Now, at the time that I wrote down all my points, I was given a UniSQ automatic scholarship. And that automatic scholarship meant that I would automatically get $6,000 per year just for getting an ATAR above 97. And I well and truly cleared that. And I was like, yeah, hell yeah. I put it as number one on my preferences. Amazing. And then about a week ago, I actually got an email from UniSQ because there was a different scholarship that I applied to. And it was one where I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll get that. And I got it. It is the Destination Australia Scholarship by the Australian government for domestic students. There is one for international students as well. But basically, they really want people learning and being educated in rural areas. Because if you're educated here, you're more likely to come back and work here. And you can also, you know, have your say, have your voice heard all of that about what rural communities need more if you are being educated here and because I was really passionate about staying in Toowoomba and all of that sort of stuff I was awarded the Destination Australia Scholarship which I'm not gonna lie has changed my life it is $15,000 per year for my degree at UniSQ so that will be a total of $45,000 just for you know getting good grades and maintaining a good EPA all of that um, I can make a full video on this later but next year if any of you guys are interested in applying for that scholarship um, it's at um, a lot of unis do have it um, if they have rural things and the other eligibility thing is that your degree must be in need the government must be needing it so that's a lot of health and science and education degrees right now so say you're doing bachelor of teaching you're eligible you're doing medicine nursing all of that sort of stuff you're eligible if you are doing an arts degree or maybe law or anything like that um you I don't think you will be at this point, but it's just something to keep in mind that if you are doing a degree that the government deems to be needed, and they do give you a website to figure that out, whether or not you are needed, um, then you are eligible for this scholarship. If you're doing it in a rural area, all that, and you have to write a couple of statements about yourself and about your passions, et cetera, et cetera. But basically, that is another big financial thing for me, the fact that I was given literally the gift of a lifetime, a $15,000 scholarship a year. And that is insane to me. It literally fixes a lot of the stress that I have. Because if I decide to just like stop working right now and quit my job at Woolies and quit tutoring, with my rent and my car expenses and all that, I could like just scrape by and live comfortably. So now I'm just working for that extra stuff. I wanna go overseas at the end of this year. So now I'm allowed to work to save. So there is no pressure on me. If I'm having a stressful time at uni, I can now take a couple of weeks off work without feeling like it is going to financially ruin me. So that is another big thing. Honestly, one of the biggest things um, about me staying here in Toowoomba and going to UniSQ is really the financial side of things. Um, I thought I'd quickly touch on the personal side of things. Um, just quickly, I am not ready to leave my family. I'm not ready to leave my beautiful cat who was featured in this video. Um, my grandparents do live on a farm out here. They're getting old. I'm just not ready to leave that life behind. I am a massive family person. I love my family. I don't want to be away from them right now. So 
the really the real benefit I have here is I'm staying at home right now. If I want to, I can move out and go to college at UniSQ. I can get my own place in town, anything like that. And I could still be here to be with my family. So I'm really, really grateful that I do have this opportunity. I literally cannot express how grateful I am that USQ has opened up this medicine pathway. And the last thing that is, um, is something that you should really think about is in your future, there are going to be big things coming if you do medicine. So when I read Emotional Female, she was getting a new job in a new hospital every year or every six months. And that is typically how it is. When you first graduate medical school, you typically rotate around hospitals on six months or one year terms. And she was going from Sydney to Melbourne to this place to this place. So when I, you know, get out of medical school, I will be able, and when I'm old enough and when I'm ready and I've got a good paying job, I will be able to live in those cities and I'll be able to give each city a go. I'll go to Melbourne this year and then I'll go somewhere rural out back this year and then I might come back to Toowoomba for a year. So once I graduate, I will really 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 like the world will be my oyster they always need doctors everywhere there will always be doctor jobs going so i will always have a place to go and then even if i'm brave enough and i get my certifications correct and all of that and my qualifications all good to go i will even be able to work overseas in certain countries so honestly thinking towards my future it's not like me working here has you know bound me here for years so honestly I re i'm really happy with my choice to say uni sq and i hope this um really gives you a bit of insight into why i chose uni sq over monash or university of newcastle and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that those are bad universities at all i'm just saying that that is how it will be the other thing is i will get my doctor of medicine degree from the university of queensland the same as everyone else who goes to uq in the city and there will be no differentiation between me and them when we go for jobs and all that except for our skill so honestly it's not putting me back it's not setting me back anywhere and at the end of the day every medical degree is licensed it's not like you know maybe something like an arts degree or a different science degree where where you go maybe does matter but medicine is so strict that the australian government first of all make sure that every medical school is fully up to date and also make sure that everyone sits certain exams once they graduate which means every medical school must prepare their students for those mandatory exams so at the end of the day it doesn't matter where you go to medical school it is going to be equally as good as anywhere else so that is why i chose to go to uni sq rather than somewhere like monash or anything like that and i hope you respect my decision um a lot of people there's a terrible stigma about uni sq just because it is a small university but i hope that i can change your mind on some of that and thank you for watching please comment any of your ideas down below anything like that i really really love reading your comments and thank you for watching and if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.